Oh, look at that set. Look at that set rolling in, Kev. She's going surfing? The nice man inside talked me into it. Well, we made it to the surfing beach in the Arctic Circle, but it doesn't look like the waves are that good for surfing right now. Hopefully that'll change in a couple hours when the tide comes up. It's currently like low to go into mid-tide. It's not a good sign when there's no one out. I know it's way far up north, but there is a large surf community here. So hopefully things will change. We'll see. I'm going to go into the surf shop and ask them what the situation is, if it's better here at high tide versus low tide. If it's better at high tide, then there's hope. If it's better at low tide, it's not looking good because the swell doesn't build until tomorrow. So we'll have to go do something else. This area is really beautiful. It's like in a valley. It's a really small farming town. It's quite amazing. Well, the surf shop is closed. What a strikeout. Yeah, I guess when there's no swell here, everyone just like kind of stays home. Stays home. There's no need to, I guess. All right. Well, since there were two epic failures and the surf shop is currently closed, well, we don't know if it's closed. It says to call a number, so I think that it's open. The guy's just not there unless there's a need to be there. But we're headed to the surf cafe. Apparently they have the world's best Cinnabons and hopefully they have someone who has some information about the surf, the surf shop, all that good stuff. Are we sticking around? I don't know. I'm checking the forecast right now. We'll see what it says. We also got two Cinnabons that actually look pretty dang good. Presentation is on point. Mm. That's pretty good. That's really good. I think what we're going to do is leave Unstad, head to another beach called Flockstad, maybe? See if there's waves there. If there's not, then we'll just come back here tomorrow, I guess. Let's venture on, see more. Alrighty. It's not raining, though, which is really nice. Are those waves I see? Yes. Let's go. How psyched are you on a scale of one to so, so psyched? The waves are very small, but I am so excited to get surfing in the Arctic Ocean. And to be honest, when you look at it, it looks like we're on a, in the Caribbean or something. Because the water is just turquoise green, Bahamas blue. I don't know what color it is, but it's incredible. All right, well, let's well, go get you a board. Yeah, let's go. Man, he's sprinting. I can barely keep up. Wow, never saw that poster before. Kevin legit had that poster hanging in his bedroom. She's going surfing? The nice man inside talked me into it. I'm going to catch one wave, and then I'm going to get footage. No, catch more than one. We'll see. Can't believe Taylor's surfing too. 60 bucks for a full wetsuit and a board for the day. Pretty good. I feel like I have like a little claw. <laughs> What's the stoke level right now? What's the stoke level for you? You're surfing. Yeah, my stoke level probably isn't as high as yours, but I am excited to get into those warm green waters. Warm, real warm, huh? I keep telling myself it's going to be warm. Oh, we got to get after this before the wind switches or something because it's good right now. This thing is so thick. You ready to rip? Oh, I don't know if I'd call it that. Woo. I'm ready for something. Ready? Ready. We are officially about to walk into the Arctic Ocean and go surfing. How did our lightning talk to me yesterday? That's so crazy. We're in the ocean. 
The water is so clear. It's crazy. Bomb to the right. So calm again, thank the Lord! It's also just me and Taylor. I feel like I look like a seal. <laughs> Are you nervous of that? Like yeah. Oh, that an animal's gonna come up and try to eat me? That's where I thought you were going. We officially surfed the Arctic Ocean. We crushed it. Taylor crushed it. She caught waves. I don't it was know awesome. if I'd call it crushing it, but comfy waves. We're just having a quick PBJ. Taylor made me a double decker. The wind is getting so vicious right now, so we need to find a new location to camp. We were thinking about it just right here because it's super convenient, but this wind is going to blow us over. And we might track down a little further to Ah uh, or O. Oh. I don't know. A with a halo. New change of plans. Since it's so miserable out, we are just going to stay put and get some work done because who the heck wants to drive in this weather? Yeah. We'll see you guys in the morning. We're going to take the camera, put the camera away for the night. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Happy birthday. Thank you. Taylor, turn 30 today. My 28th country. In her 28th country. Pretty incredible. 30 looks good on you. Thank you. How's it feel? I feel as young as I am. Dang. Big three out of Taylor is one day older than me, so. Your big day. I married a cougar, you could say. <laughs> what you want to do today? Well, because I'm surfing. Surfing day. Is it my birthday? Yeah. And we're going to a cheese store to get fresh cheesecake. Norwegian cheesecake. Ooh. Ooh. Birthday wow. Norwegian cheesecake. Birthday Norwegian cheesecake. Did you ever think you would spend your birthday watching cats surf? In the <laughs> no. What? I'm just you never thought that? <laughs> Honestly? Oh no, I assumed the day would come. <laughs> no, I'm saying ever since your birthday in the Arctic Circle. <laughs> no. Nope, I would have picked anywhere else. Blue sky, sandy beaches, warm waters. Well, if it's warm nice out, water. you get blue sky, sandy beaches here. Just not warm water.
We're gonna head up to Onstad, but first we're gonna have some breakfast. The waves aren't good enough here to surf here again. We are getting water for the first time as RVers. It's day uh, four, I think, in the van, so we're doing pretty good. And we're not even empty, we just wanna have it just in case. How's it going? I'm trying to figure out how to open this thing. <laughs> so does that mean not well? It's not working out too hot right now. So I turn this, I turn this. Push them in. There it is. Okay. You just have to pull out that pole thing. Yeah, pull this out. Yep, that's it. Cool thing about Norway is they actually provide the hoses attached to the water fill up, so you don't need to carry one with you. Oh! <laughs> How's that working out? Not good. <laughs> you probably should have gotten that. Jeez. Gotta like, you gotta stick it in further, I suppose. We're halfway. We're more than halfway. Not so bad. Nope. Once you uh, took control of the hose. <laughs> yeah. A little pressure just made it, it, made it squirt all over the place. <laughs> All right, so the waves aren't really that great yet. And before we head back to Unstad to hopefully get some surf in for Kevin, not for me, we are gonna go to Nussford Fjord, Nussfjord. Apparently to Taylor's notes, it's a really charming town with the classic red barn homes, 34 minutes from Hulkland Beach. I mean, that's a great description, is it's it not? And then hopefully we're gonna go to a little cheese factory and then get some surf in. Should be a good day. Hopefully it stays like it is right now. It's got a little bit of blue skies peeking out and no rain at the current moment, which would be incredible if it didn't rain today. Seriously. I gotta do to get a sponsorship around here. From where? From Helly. Helly, Helly, Helly. I'm just kidding. Hey, Helly, if you are watching this, you know. <laughs> Feel free. Feel free. I only buy air jackets when they're on clearance or at Costco. <laughs> so cute. Charming red little barn homes. We're not really sure if these houses here are people's homes or if it's like little shops and they're just closed right now. There's picnic tables out on this deck. It very well could be someone's house, though. And if that's the case, we apologize for trespassing. But it's so pretty here. I don't know if it's just because it's not raining, but it's I really nice. I think it's nice. also just, it's so unique too, from what we're used to. Like, this is so far from America, I feel like. Yeah. Or like America, like the way we, our architecture and stuff. I don't call as often as I should. Probably not as often as I said I would But don't you be thinking that I don't miss you That thing is enormous You don't like it? Not one bit Ugh. I think it swallowed my head whole <laughs> That thing is nasty It can't be a stockfish, is it? Because that's so, so much smaller looking than that head My life has taken me away from you but you're always in my thoughts. I don't say as often as I ought to. June, July, August, and September. Darn. So close. So close. We're like four days away. So anyone who lives in this town can only go to Caroline's if you want any food. There's not even a grocery store. Man. Oh, that I could without a doubt that I off to a nice pretty beach. Hopefully it's still not raining. That would be great. I really like this spot. Made it to the beach. Are we in Hawaii? Yeah, it's a little colder than Hawaii. Just a little bit. Seven degrees Celsius. I must admit, Still being in my 20s, sure does feel nice. Thanks. Oh, I'm just kidding. 
we are at Hawkland Beach, which is quite beautiful. Got some blue sky sneaking out right now. Great lighting on Manin. That's the mountain right there. M-A-N-N-E-N, -N -N -E I think. So maybe it's Manin. I don't know. It's beautiful. Oh, we're not in New Jersey anymore. It is chilly water. But boy, is it pretty. Our New Jersey has water this color. Oh my god, can you imagine? It's yeah, beautiful. I mean, this place doesn't look real. Yes. I mean, perfectly like green water, greenish blue, I don't know, turquoise with these massive melons that are actually starting to get some green on them. No snow. It's like framed too. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. On a warm summer day, this place is probably packed. I'd imagine. Next stop, the Cheese Cafe on the way to Unstad. That rhymed a little bit. Let's hit it. Where? You know what Norway is missing? Hot springs. Ooh, hot if springs. If there was a hot spring right along these waters, it would just be incredible. Yeah, what? But there's not, so why dwell? You sure you don't want to hike all the way up there? I've never been more sure of anything in my life. <laughs> Norwegian cheesecake is call my name. You excited to get a birthday cake? I am. This is a authentic cheese store and the cafe is only open on Fridays and Saturdays and lucky for me my birthday landed on a Saturday. We're gonna stop look around the farm. We did request a cheese plate because the cheese that he loves tastes was so good and he said that it's on the menu. But the bread just got put in the oven and it takes 30 minutes, so he told us to walk around. If we want. So we're walking around. I realized the smell is the goats. I was like, I don't see any cattle. I don't see any cows. Duh, I didn't put it together. This is a goat cheese farm. Yeah. So there's goats. We're not allowed to in the stable though, but we can peek inside. <laughs> for the birthday girl. Cheesecake, my favorite. And this one has some berries on it. I got one too. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Mm. Wow. Is it good? It is, it's not as sweet as normal cheesecake, so I think you'll like it better. Cool. It's definitely goaty. Goaty, whatever that means. Goat cheesy. Um, wow, this is so good. Our tasty treat is over. That was delicious. So good. I think I liked the cheesecake more than Taylor did, honestly. I thought it was really good. I know, but I really, really liked it. Yeah, it wasn't as sweet as normal cheesecake. It was still good, but Which is yeah, why it was I liked a little it different. More. And but now we're off for Kevin to catch some waves, hopefully. This was a really cool spot. It's super authentic. It's homegrown. Really liked it. Looks a bit more crowded compared to yesterday. Holy smokes. There's some ways straight ahead. Oh, look at that set. Look at that set rolling in, Kev. That's a nice wave. Look at those waves. Wow. Whose birthday is it? Wow. That is a massive set. Let's go get you a board. Fun fact, this town of Umstad has 14 residents. 14. I mean, that's nuts. We're back. All right. Got to get this surfer dude aboard. That's right. Hell you yeah. Come out this time? Hell no. I'm the videographer. But if the video sucked, it wasn't me. Cool. 
It is day two of Kevin surfing the Arctic. You pumped up? I am. A little bit bigger than yesterday. Shorter board. Hopefully we'll score some waves. The crowd quadrupled since I got the board though. But it's okay. It's usually a good sign though, right? Yeah, maybe. This is a thick suit. Yeah, how thick is it? I think this is a 654. Oh, which, so even thicker than yesterday. I think it's, maybe it's just smaller or just dry that it's just, it's pretty thick. Looking good. He looks warm. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, 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 oh. I'm hoping it's warming up for you, the water. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm cold. Oh. oh, your hands actually aren't as cold as I thought they'd be. Nah, nah. It's not. My body's warm, it's just... The air is cold. Yeah. Oh. Well, I put on the broiler, I think, for you. So the water, he said it should just take a minute, right? That's what he said. All right, so hopefully it's hooked up. Woo! Surfing, the Arctic is over. Two solid sessions. I got to surf with my favorite person on earth. Oh, that's sweet of you. And I got some good waves, big waves today. Maybe not big. They were pretty big. Decent size. Some de big sets. But I think that's it for surfing Norway. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Happy birthday to Taylor. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Lofoten Islands, where we take a polar plunge Woo! in some freezing waters after enjoying a floating song. Woo!